So here's the bike. And you can see, I don't know if you can see, oil's pretty dark. And uh, when it's warmed up, it won't go into neutral very easily. So oil filters behind here. And the drain plug is right up under here. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. And uh, you can see on the lid, it says SAE 10W40. So let's get started. Okay, I've had this for about a year and I have not changed the oil in it yet. So, but I haven't ridden it much either. So, I was told if your bike won't go into neutral when it's warmed up, it could be just bad oil. And this oil looks pretty dark, so I'm going to assume that's the case and that it's not the clutch. Because it doesn't slip. Oh yeah. That's pretty sludgy. So, we'll get this changed. Maybe it'll start working like it's supposed to. Yeah. Oil smells pretty bad, so I don't think there's any gas or anything in there, so I think we're good on that front. And I'll be back when this is done draining. Okay, looks like it's just about drained. And I've moved my pan over so when I take this off for the filter it'll run down into the pan. Grab a chair instead of a creeper. Now for this there's a uh, 310 mil millimeter bolt hole neck cover on, and then there's a bolt in the middle. I'm not sure if that bolt has to come off or not, but well, we'll have to find out. Okay, I've repositioned it, so let's see what she does. That wasn't on there very tight. was a little bit. Let's see. Make sure you don't lose these screws. Especially if you drop it in that oil pan, that'd be bad. You know, not bad, but just messy. Okay. Pull this off so it looks like that center 12 millimeter screw does not need to come off. <clears throat> and I'm going to set this down here for the time being. You can see how that filters in there. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. Not sure if you can see that, but it is draining. So. See if we can get this filter out. Put that new one in. This camera will sit there. There we go. Oops. All right. Looks like it just pulls out. And there we go. We'll set it down on that. I'm going to let this thing 
drain for a minute. Now I did buy a new o-ring just because. I didn't know what kind of shape that would be in. And I totally forgot to get a drain plug gasket. But uh, I may or may not have one from an old project. So clean this up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now I'm going to take my clean blue towel here from Harbor Freight. And I'm going to maybe wipe this out. I want to make sure there's no gunk in there. You know, even though the oil was pretty dark and murky and stinky, I didn't feel any grit. So I think we're good on that front. I just want to make sure this is all clean before I put start throwing parts on it. Okay. Cover. I guess I need to go grab my filter on the workbench and my O-ring. So we'll start with O-ring. Right, move this again. Actually, I'll turn you out here. So here's the cover. There's a lot of light on there, so that's not going to work. Maybe we'll. Turn it back here. There we go. The inside of the cover. I kind of wiped it out. Let's clean out this groove a little bit more. Now we're ready to put this in. So, just in case anybody doesn't know how, this just goes into that little groove, just like that. We're good there. We'll set that aside. Okay, now for the filter. Now, this filter is plugged on one end, that end right there, and it's open over here on the other side. So I'm going to put the big side in. I have this thing on here, so, and it just sits in there like that. And then I'm going to put this cover back on. There is a little arrow pointing on this, and there's an arrow, or there's a line right there, so I'm assuming that's where it needs to be timed. You just want to make sure your O-ring doesn't come off, so let's get this sucker on. Why this needs to be timed, I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody probably knows. Maybe I don't. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, now I know why it's time. Got that arrow on there. Yeah, see, I'm losing my O ring. Let's try. Maybe this has to go up to the top. Nope. Let's go that way. Yep. 
so that little tick mark goes towards the front of the bike just for future reference putting that on there I'm not gonna tighten these all the way down yet I'm gonna get them all on oh, see I dropped that in there okay so I retrieved the screw out of the muck that was not fun cover it up there just in case I drop this again now let's continue to put this on and the last one okay so there's that now I don't know if there's a tightening sequence on this or not, but I'm just going to get these snug with a wrench before I really tighten them down. I'm not going to tighten them that much. They weren't tightened that much when I loosened them, although this one was. Now, I did get these from Harbor Freight, but for stuff like this, it works fine. I got these years ago. I was building another bike and didn't have a whole lot of money to spend on, you know, snap on and Matco and stuff like that. I've got a bunch of craftsman tools too, but it seems like they're all made in China now. So, okay, everything's snug on there. I want to make sure I have no oil because this bike does not leak any oil at all. She smokes a little bit. And this winter I'm gonna put rings in it. Adjust the valves. Put new valve guides in if it needs it. But it doesn't leak. And that's a wonderful thing. Anybody that's got a bike that leaks knows exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get back underneath and put the plug in. Okay. You can see I've got my plug here. Got this little blue gasket. I actually got these when I had a had a Suzuki Samurai and the place didn't have a gasket for the drain plugs. But they had a pack of these, so I bought them and I still have a few of those left. So let's uh get this puppy back on there. Yeah. Yeah. Get it all lined up there. There we go. I like to try and keep this stuff as clean as I can. Here. Snug that up. You don't have to over tighten these too much. It's just aluminum. You can strip this out with a steel bolt here. Just want to get it a little snug there. And one thing I noticed see, I've crimped my o ring right there, so I got to take that back off and fix that so let's do that yeah maybe this would have been easier laying down huh? sometimes sometimes it is i guess this off check my o-ring I 
doesn't look bad, but I did cut it by tightening it down. That just goes to show you that uh, you should probably check that stuff before you cinch it down. So I just ruined that one. And I don't have another one, so I'm going to have to put this old one back on. And it actually doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape, so that's okay. I'll put that back on there. Hopefully there will be no leaks. Only time will tell once I get this thing running. And it looks like the gasket's on there, or the O-ring. That was luck. I don't normally go on the, quite that easy. We got that one there. One more. Yeah, that gasket was like four bucks that I just wasted. Even though it's only four bucks, you know, that's four bucks is four bucks. That could be a lot of things. It could be an ice cream for your kids or for yourself or hamburger or something. So I'll just look at it that way that I just spent my hamburger money. Okay. O-ring looks good. Now we just gotta put some oil in it. Alright, so now I have my funnel. One of the things I noticed is uh, I probably should have one that's a little bit longer because if I try to put it in there you can see I'm like this. So I'm going to try and do this but it's going to be slow. But we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> careful I won't make a mess and I guess to be on the safe side there's oil pan back under there now they told me at the bike shop that uh, this thing takes two quarts but there's a window right here with a line and you want it in between those lines and I'll show you when I'm done. Now they didn't have any Suzuki oil, but they had this Honda. This is Honda CN4 or GN4 four-stroke oil. And it's SAE10W40. SJ, whatever the SJ is. But this should be fine. So let's do this really slow. Oh. hit the top of that so I don't make a mess. I hate making a mess. Well, I don't mind making a mess. I don't like having to clean out the mess. I really don't. So I try and I go slow and take my time. Usually I do okay. We're just about got this first cord in there. No, 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 don't spill, don't spill, it'll stay in the hole. Okay, so there's that cord, and I've got a little bit laying on the side here, so I'm gonna try and push that up so it goes in. Looks like I already got some in there, but you now we gotta get some in that oil filter. So I'm gonna pull the spark plug off and see if I can turn this thing over a little bit. Let's 
if I can. There we go. Spark plug back up. And let's see where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, that went down, so. So we're good. Let's do this last port here. And just go slow and take your time. See how too much in there is starting to you know, maybe I'll just hold it like that. That'll make it easier. Oh yeah, that's much easier. So I'm only gonna put half of that in there for now because it's up to the full mark. I'm gonna turn this sucker over again. Or not. You know, they said it's uh, two quarts. On the side of the engine, it says 1400 milliliters. Now, I'm not smart enough to figure out how much that is in quarts. So. Let's see what that did. No, it's still, still on the full, on the top mark there, so let me uh, see if I can actually get this thing started. This hasn't been started in, oh, I don't know, at least a few months. So let's uh, check it, and all right there. And I've got, I've only done about half of this. So, ooh, that's a workout. I'm gonna put in just about a little bit more. And then once I'm done, Take this out, run it a little bit, recheck it. There we go. That brought it back up to the full mark there. All right, that's how you change the oil in a Suzuki LT230S. All right, well. Here it is, it's running, and uh, it seems to be running okay. I rebuilt the carburetor not too long ago. I got this milk crate on there. I know it looks stupid, but it does its job. And looks like I might need to put the rest of that oil in there. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit. We'll go ahead and do that. Take it for a little spin. It took almost two quarts of oil. And it's just a little bit on the low side, but still in between the two marks. So I'm gonna leave it right there. And once I run it a little bit, I'll see if it needs there it is. I did take the front headlight off. I didn't like the way it was looked, or it looked and it was bent. So, let's 
let's go take it for a little spin. So this is my first video. If you like it, please hit like. And if you want to, hit subscribe. I'm not sure how often I'll put videos up for the moment, but uh, I hope this helps somebody.